Hey guys, this is Shots. Welcome to Let's Play Turok 2 Seeds of Evil Part 53. Man, I have not been able to say that in an extremely long time. But now that I have a new microphone, which you guys are hearing at this moment, this possible episode, this episode was made possible. So, without further ado, I'm used to the controls, I did some playing, I'm ready to fuck bitches and get money. And uh, the, ep the level that you guys voted on was level one, the Port of Adia. It killed, actually. It was, it was, uh, it was un like almost unanimous. There were maybe like five or six people who were against the Port of Adia. So I kind of figured that's how you guys would want to go ahead with this level, with this, uh, with the Prime Engine keys. Because, you know, chronological order is the best kind of order, I guess. I don't know. It's just more organized, I suppose. So anyways, what I do plan on doing is I plan on spending one episode, that is right, one episode on each Primogen key. Which means there is seven episodes left of Turok. There is the Port of Adia, and whichever levels you guys choose, which is two, three, four, five, six. And then there's the Primogen boss fight and credits, which I will put into one video because there's no YouTube time limit. So this is very, very effective, I think. So let's hope you guys are on the same level that I'm at and accept this as a possibility because I totally have accepted it and am willing to cope. Anyways, now that we understand what Shots is going to be doing for the next seven parts of Turok, which is all we have left, straight up. Uh, let's get back to the game. So, as you can see, we don't really have to do much, we just kind of have to get to our objective, which is the Primogen Key, because we've killed all these enemies already. And we just kind of got to go back to the Primogen Key, and then get to the end of the level. And This is probably one of the easier Primogen Keys to get, because it's not really hidden all that well, I guess. And I guess I could show you guys this, because I didn't really show it off too, too brilliantly, but if you shoot these seagulls, you will get a passageway that opens up the way to that ultra health and all that extra lives. So I think I might do that. Uh, I might speed it up. I might just kind of post it as is. But I'm pretty good at this. It's kind of hard to see the crosshair, but I can kind of guess uh, where the seagulls are going. And then the, then there's the timing, so... Oh, I missed. Okay, I'm almost there, though. I'm close. Ah, oh, ferk. Mother effort. Okay. Nope. Alright, hold on. I'll get this guy. I hate birds. I'm not a real big fan of birds. So shooting birds, I never, never have a problem pulling over to shoot birds. I mean, who who would have a problem? I mean, they're just like, shit. They just shit from the sky. Like, they don't give any warning or anything. And it, they just, like, funny story. When I was younger, not a whole lot. Well, yeah, a lot younger. Probably about six years younger. Um, I had this really cool blue Nike coat um, that my mom had bought me. It was like a $150 coat or something. And uh, I was walking to school one day and a seagull shit legit shit you hear that opening by the way that's that's us opening this where is it um, this thing over here anyways back to my story um anyways so i was just walking to school one day and uh... a seagull shit on my shoulder and the, the weirder thing is is that I didn't notice this for about a couple months so I walked around for like a couple months with seagull shit on my sweater so I thought that was a neat story that's kind of why I hate birds because again like I had no idea that I had shit on my jacket because it was it was in the weirdest spot it was like the seagull pooped so perfect perfectly that it like popped underneath the collar that was on my jacket I know, that's ridiculous, right? That's straight up, straight up gangster. So, anyways, we're just trying to finish up. Oh, hey. I'll go, oh, knife fight, knife fight, let's do it. 
Unfortunately, this takes a while. I just want to... Oh, there goes your knifing arm, bastard. Suck on that shit. Jerk. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't think we have... Oh, yeah, I remember. We got some sniping to do. Sorry, I kind of pre-played this level. I was, I was planning on not pre-playing it, but I sort of pre-played it because my interrupt... My uh, recording got interrupted last time. Fuck. I already screwed up. That's bullshit. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. How do we... There you go. Alright. Okay. Let's see, can I go for the domer? Oh, nope. Right in the arm. But this is right in the domer. Right in the domer! Yeah! Dome shot, baby. That's how I roll. Alright, now I gotta get this guy with a domer. Drive-by domer! Yeah, boy. That's how we play it. I keep it playa, while some choose to play it safe. Boy, check the resume. It's risky business in the A. Yeah. <laughs> That's a song by Big Boy. I was just kind of quoting it. Anyways, I don't, I don't play it. Uh, as you've seen throughout the uh, Let's Play, I don't really try to play it safe. I kind of rush through my shit. Because that's just how I do. Anyways, that's the first Prime Engine key. And now we're just going to get to the end of the level. And that will be the end of this episode. And maybe some funny shit happens along the way. Who knows? All we can really hope for is entertaining commentary, which I believe I'm providing. I might not be. But, you know, whatever. I don't really care what you guys say. Because I'm just doing this. Because I feel like it. Normally there's a guy here. I don't know why there's not. But whatever. Just keep on going. Um, I don't know how many of these ammo and health regen places I save, or how many of those health and regen places I save. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, how many of those things that I saved. But, um, I might need them, because you don't really get ammo as easily as you did, because it's not kind of sprawled all over the place, because with some ammo, you pick it up once, and it's gone for good, so... Um, I don't know if I saved too much ammo, but uh, if I did, then hopefully we'll pick some of that up. But otherwise, you got to go to health res or health and ammo respawns, which you know those are kind of tedious and take a long time. Uh, this this task of getting these primogen keys it shouldn't take any longer than like uh, maybe an hour, an hour or two of gameplay. That's really it. Uh, some of them are really really close to the beginning of the levels and some of them are really like separate but it's not too like tedious to get it's just kind of it's tedious to get to the end of the levels because you've already played each of the levels and it's kind of like dragged on because you don't want to play through each of these levels again in order to verse the boss so it gets played out but whatever you just i just go with the flow sometimes because that's how you got to do it i'm not gonna lie I, I, i'm I'm not too sure where we are. I'm just kind of playing it out and going through it the way I remember playing through it and hoping that eventually we reach an end. Hey, man. I just wanted to be friends, guy. I didn't want to have to fight you. I was going to be... I was going to go... Uh, what's that called? What's that word called? Fuck. Uh, damn it. I don't even remember. Whatever. If, I, if it pops into my brain, I'll tell you guys about it. It's going to bug me, though, because I know, I know I know the word. I'm not that dumb. Well, I'm pretty dumb, but, like, not overly dumb. Not, like, dirt a dirt dumb. More like, I forget my words all the time dumb. Yeah, that kind of dumb. Uh, I remember when we forgot that key the first time. Except when I played this, it was a replay of my entire game. So this isn't even the same game I started playing back in September. This is a completely different game, to be honest. Uh, I had to start a new game because I had to get a new computer. Good memories, good memories. I've taken so many hiatuses. It's, it's a wonder how I have so many subscribers. It's it's pretty awesome, actually, to be quite real. What's this way? There's a lot of energy force. I'm cool with that. Oh, hey. How do you do, sir? Take that. Damn. You're dead. That's harsh. Okay. <laughs> he got surprise attacked. Um... Where do I want to go? I don't even know. Oh damn it. Uh, let's go up here, I guess. Uh, this is... <laughs> if anybody knows where I'm going, good for you, but I have no clue. I'm just trying to make my way downtown and 
trying to walk too fast as well, so... I, I know it sounds like I've gotten monotone, I'm just really focusing, trying to remember where I'm supposed to go, but I'm still trying to be entertaining with my lingo, I guess. I don't know. I got hit by a grenade, what the fuck? Sorry, I was a little bit late. That's, that's, I'm not lagging or anything. There's no, like, delay. I was just, I was really late in saying that, because I wasn't really paying attention, so. We're almost at the end of the level, actually, so we should be ending the part soon. Hold up. Kill that bitch. Done. Get down. Get down. Let's see. Oh. Oh, what? I didn't bust your arm off? That's gay. Come on, now. What are you saying? Take that. Right in the arm. There you go. There's the busted arm. Look at that. There's the end of the level, boys and girls. So, this will conclude part 53. Uh, if it was short, I'm sorry, but that's that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And fortunately, we're almost done with Turok, so there won't be too many long episodes left in this uh, endeavor of LP. There might be one when I do the final boss, but this is the end of part 53, so for this part, what I'm going to need you to do is vote on the next level you guys want done. So, whether it be uh, the River of Souls, the Death Marshes, uh, the Lair of the Blind Ones, the Primogen, or the Hive of the Mantids, either one of those is your option. So just put two, three, four, five, or six in the description, or you can put the name of the level. I'll be more impressed if you put the name of the level, to be honest, but put whatever whatever level you guys want to see me do next. Until next time, this has been Shots, and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys with part 54, probably in a few days. Peace out.